Hello, and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today, we're going to be doing an update on the AEC B-Type bus. And been been a lot done, been a couple of really bad issues, issues uh, putting it together as well. So first, we're going to take a look at what I've got done. You can see the wires here. These are going to be for the lighting, which I forgot to plan the lighting out before I put the top on because, and I'll talk a little bit about that more later. But I believe this was the last update I did. We've now got, I'm not sure what these boxes are up here, but we got these boxes up here. These would normally be lights, I believe. They got the number, fire extinguisher. I actually got lighting in here, inside the cab. Open air cab. Also got the stairs done, and that was a job and a half. You know, building the stairs themselves, piece of cake. Bending this wood to where it would fit in place, that was a little bit tricky. I said wood. Bending this metal to fit in place, same with this one. Did this last night on the stream. Got the number back here. This was a little bit tricky, and we can get... We'll talk about now what my ish, biggest issue I've had so far. You can see the wrinkle there in the window. I can't replace that because when I uh, was putting on the roof, I did some uh, overnight, wet the roof down, got it bent a little bit, figured, okay. And then I, when I put it together, put it together on one of the uh, HTM live streams, and I heard a pop, and I wasn't too concerned. I put the clamps on just like I had before until I looked at the back here. And both of these windows, all four pillars were crushed. You can see there, that one's a little bit broken. This one's broken and twisted. This is broken. Was able to put it all back together, but like I said, got a little bit of a wrinkle in the window there. You can't see the other window had a little bit as well. This was popped open, you know, just a lot of issues. And so with that, I didn't even think about the, uh, and it was already too late. I didn't think about the conduit that I put in here, up here in the front. This is actually, the only thing this conduit does is run these wires down to here. And it was a bigger piece than I planned on because I couldn't get anything else through here. And this was a job and a half to actually get in here. I'm going to leave, you know, a little bit worn here. I'm going to leave this in here or they leave it the way it is. I think it gives a little bit of character, but it was, it was an adventure getting this thing put together and not a good adventure, <laughs> more like an Indiana Jones fighting with the uh, bad guys adventure, but I have got it together and you can see I've got wires up sticking out in three spots. That's gonna, those actually work. And actually this brass rod here, when I bent it last night, it was too short. That's why it's a little bit leaning. Can't help it. It's gonna be okay. I've recovered from a very bad disaster. And so let's go ahead and set the bus down. We're gonna switch cameras. And I'm gonna put power to each set of the lights. and. Got to be very careful because I've got my uh, power supply set down to about 3 volts because if I apply much more than that, what's going to happen is I'm going to pop the LEDs because these don't have resistors on them yet. What I am going to do is I'm going to start laying the floor here, figuring out, you know, make sure that these match up. And I have the slats for the floor right here. But I'm going to make sure that just threw one thing. I did. It was still in my hand when I brought my hand back over. I'm going to make sure that where these wires come through, they line up well enough to where they're not going to block it. Actually, all three. I'm going to run them over here, put them underneath the seats on this side, paint them so that hopefully they'll disappear. But back to what I was doing. Okay, so you can see the light there. And that actually looks really good until it gets blown out by the L when you can actually see the LED. It's not that bright in person, but the effect is exactly what I want. 
get this one undone. We're going to go ahead and turn the bus this way so that you can see the same inside the bus. And it was kind of funny, one of the things I noticed on the last wires here. So there's that one. Again, a very subtle light effect. But on this last one, when I was putting it in, you can see this sleeve on here. It was broken before they sent it to me, and then they, they repaired it, which not a big deal. But the the uh, negative lead broke off while I've been while I've been working with it. So a little bit of work to do on there, but she's coming along. It's been a couple of weeks since I actually filmed a video for this. It's getting there slowly but surely. And I think it looks great. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be as perfect as I can make it. And I just saw, you can see that in the camera back there, the box that I did last night as well. Those nails are similar to these nail, these nails here, except for this was longer to where I could put the nail all the way in. I had to clip those nails to be able to get them not to come poking out on the backside here. So, like I said, it's coming along. Really happy with the progress. Couple of mistakes, think these things happen. You know, so it'll, it's coming along. Roof is going to get, or the uh, upper deck here is the next part. And then after that, we start working on the chassis. And that's where I'm going to run these wires here up into the engine compartment so that I can actually light it. I'm going to put put a something coming down out of the bottom of the, the bus so that that's where the power is going to go in, probably using Arduino wires because that way I can plug in whatever I want to. I usually, when I get the model display room set up, I'll set up something so that I can use a single power supply to run multiple models. So that's all there is for this uh, episode. Hope you're enjoying this model. I am. Even though I've had a couple of thing issues, I've got one thing I got to do is run black paint around here. That's something else. They didn't point this out when uh, hang on. they didn't point this out. Let me switch cameras because the other camera overhead is cam camera is better at focusing. Didn't point this out when I was doing the slats that this these had to be trimmed down. So I actually had to trim these slats in place. Same thing. This first one here, I actually trimmed around, but it was a little bit interesting getting that in there. Still got a couple of things here. I really, really hope that it's not going to tell me I have to put something in there from the top because that's going to suck out loud. This is going to eventually get painted either this color or black. I'm not sure which. I think black because I think that's down actually at the bottom of the chassis. So I hope, like I said, hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified whenever of whenever I post some videos. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you on the next video.